It's 10 trivia questions on TV locales. I'll give you the location. You tell me what TV show it's from. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews and thanks for subscribing so you never miss one of the 2,000 plus episodes of this show. New ones come out every Monday through Friday and today is no different. We've got a category for you called TV locales that I used at Live Trivia Nights in Northeastern Tennessee and Southern California just last week. So we'll see if you can name all these places um, in your head and then think of the show that they're from. Before we get to that, we have the best of Tribond. Let's go through three of these. Here's your first Tribond Connections game clue set. Uh, we have the Love Boat, Caddyshack, and the University of Minnesota. The Love Boat, Caddyshack, and the University of Minnesota. The connection there is Gophers. We had Fred Grandy, who was Gopher on the Love Boat, the Furry Varmint, uh, from Caddyshack and the Golden Gophers from University of Minnesota. Your next one here, Star, Tornado, Laser. Star, Tornado, Laser. That was Names of American Gladiators? No. Styles of BMX Bikes? No. It was Classes of Yachts. Classes of Yachts. That's very specific. And the third one here, Rail Splitter, Emancipation President, Sage of Springfield, Those were all nicknames for Honest Abe Abraham Lincoln. And uh, we're all warmed up. We're ready to go. And we're diving into TV location trivia right about now. Here we go. All right, TV locales, you name the TV show from the location. Here's number one, Bikini Bottom. Bikini Bottom. Number two, Mayberry. Number two is Mayberry. Number three, Quahog, Rhode Island. Quahog, Rhode Island. Number four, Stars Hollow. Stars Hollow. Number five, Pawnee, Indiana. Pawnee, Indiana. Number six, Arlen, Texas. Arlen, Texas. Number seven on your list, Hawkins, Indiana. One of my favorite shows. Number seven, Hawkins, Indiana. And number eight, Cape Side, Massachusetts. Cape Side, Massachusetts. Number nine, King's Landing. King's Landing. Number 10 is Bedrock, Bedrock. And the bonus for two points. On what animated sitcom would you find Stark's Pond? On what animated sitcom would you find Stark's Pond? Those are all your questions for TV locales. We'll be right back with the answers to those locations after this. We are back with the answers to TV locales. Let's see how you did with number one, Bikini Bottom. Nice, easy one off the bat. Nickelodeon's SpongeBob SquarePants, Bikini Bottom. Number two, Mayberry, The Andy Griffith Show, The Andy Griffith Show, and several other spinoffs that took place in Mayberry, but mainly The Andy Griffith Show. Number three, Quahog, Rhode Island, a fictional place from Family Guy, setting for Family Guy. Number four, Stars Hollow, Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Girls. Number five, Pawnee, Indiana, Parks and Recreation, Parks and Rec. Number six, Arlen, Texas, King of the Hill, animated Fox sitcom King of the Hill. Number seven, Hawkins, Indiana, Stranger Things, 11 and the whole gang. Number eight, Cape Side, Massachusetts. This was a tough one, unless you really watched a lot of Dawson's Creek, Dawson's Creek. Did you know the writer of the Scream movies uh, produced that show? And uh, I believe wrote the pilot. Number nine, King's Landing, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Number 10, Bedrock, The Flintstones. And the bonus for two points, Stark's Pond is on the animated sitcom South Park. So there you go. If you really knew some South Park, you knew Stark's Pond from that show. Thanks for listening today, and I uh, hope you had a great time answering some questions here. We do this every Monday through Friday, and your fact of the day today is that the moon is not actually made of cheese.
That's right. A lot of people think it's made of cheese, but uh, I'm here to break down the myth. The moon, not made of cheese. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Cheers. 